click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello guys welcome to ikeda today we will see problem number 3 on driving point and transfer functions so let us see what problem number 3 has for us for the network shown below which is driven by a current source this is the current source i1 it is required to compute alpha 1 to of s and z1 to of s so we should first know what is alpha 1 to of s so alpha is nothing but current transfer function so alpha 1 to will be i2 of s divided by i1 of s and this z1 to of s is impedance transfer function impedance always is voltage divided by current so it is going to be v2 of s divided by i1 of s so these are the two things which we have to obtain so of course we need to know the relation between i2 and i1 and you can see here the main source of current is called as i1 there is current through this resistance r and also through this capacitor c2 because this is open circuit so there is no current here in this particular particular branch so i2 and i1 now we can use current division formula so by using current division formula this i2 will be total current i1 multiplied by some resistance combination or impedance combination so let us see that formula this formula we are writing by using current division so i2 of s is going to be i1 of s now the formula of current division of course which can be very easily proved and it is proved at very basic level so the formula is this i2 of s that means this current in this branch where r1 is there is equal to total current multiplied by now the resistance which is parallel to this branch is taken twice this is the way i remember it so the impedance which is parallel to this branch of i2 current is nothing but c1 but impedance across this capacitor is 1 upon c1s because that is how we compute the impedance of capacitance so we will draw this circuit again by writing the appropriate impedances there will be only two this will become 1 upon c c1s and this will become 1 upon c2s now what we have done we have drawn the complete circuit in s domain or we have transformed the circuit in s domain so this current becomes now i1 of s voltage becomes v2 of s <coughs> if you compare it with the original circuit this becomes v2 of s this becomes i1 of s this capacitor becomes 1 upon c1s this is 1 upon c2 of s this current becomes i2 of s and this current becomes i a of s so appropriate changes will be seen here now when i apply the current division this current i2 is what we want is total current which is i1 of s multiplied by the branch which is parallel to this is taken twice so the impedance of this branch where there is capacitor is 1 upon cs so it will be like this 1 upon c1s divided by we'll make a bracket here again this 1 upon c1s comes along with this combination r1 plus 1 upon c2s so it's little bit complicated it is i2 of s is i1 of s which is total current we want relation between two 
and if you know the value of c if it is given it's well and good then we will get it purely in terms of s and our problem will be solved so we will solve this now and we'll get the relation so now what we will do i will take this i1 of s here in denominator because that is nothing but my alpha 1 2 of s that is you can call as current transfer function so this is 1 upon c1 s and inside the bracket here you have to take the lcm now the lcm will be c1 c2 into s so when you take the lcm here the lcm will be c1 into c2 into s and we will write it accordingly so here first term will be so you divide this by c1 of into s so it will be c2 here it will be r1 multiplied by c1 c2 s and here it is c2 s so it is going to be plus c1 and when you solve it further this c1 s and this c1 s gets cancelled and this c2 goes in numerator and in order to make the coefficient of this as 1 you can take these terms common r1 c1 c2 so it becomes s plus c1 plus c2 divided by this r1 c1 c2 and again this c2 will get cancelled so it is going to be 1 upon r1 c1 into s plus c1 plus c2 divided by r1 c1 c2 so this is what is required current transfer function i repeat again this 1 upon r1 c1 as it is 1 upon s plus c1 plus c2 upon r1 c1 c2 but we are not done yet we have also been asked as i think z12 z12 of s is nothing but upon i1 of s and i think we have got it somewhere so v2 of s we can easily get this is v2 of s so voltage is z into i and current i is nothing but i2 of s so z is nothing but 1 upon c2 s the current is i2 of s and it is going to be 1 upon c2 of s into i2 of s this is nothing but i am writing z12 of s so this particular equation so this i am writing here z12 of s is equal to v2 of s which is 1 upon c2 of s into i2 of s divided by this i1 of s and we have just obtained it that this is nothing but alpha 1 2 of s and so 1 upon c2 of s multiplied by alpha 1 2 of s which is 1 upon r1 c1 into this so it is quite simple this is what finally we obtained c1 plus c2 divided by r1 c1 c2 plus s and this also s will come here now this is nothing but z12 of s which is our required answer it can also be converted by using inverse laplace transform 
so that's all this is all about this problem and the problem has been solved if they provide us the values of c and r suppose all the values are 1 for example so this will become s into s plus 1 plus 1 will be 2 so s plus 2 so it will be something 1 upon s into s plus 2 so by using inverse laplace transform very easily we can obtain the solution if required so this is the end of problem thank you very much guys for watching this problem please subscribe to ikeda thank you